values. Let's bring in strategists now. Mark Walsh is a Democratic strategist and Alex Conant is a Republican. Good to see you both today. Look, we're looking at David Axelrod, um, who, who is reacting to Cheney's speech like a lot of people are today. And, well, in fact, let me just play it. The vice president seems intent on defending his own legacy, the legacy of his administration, and uh, and, and rekindling old debates that, that existed even within their own administration. Alex, is that exactly what this is, uh, shoring up his legacy? Well, actually, today Barack Obama went out and attacked the Bush-Cheney legacy in this regard. There's 19 references in the speech this afternoon to actions taken by the Bush administration. President Obama continues to look backwards rather than make okay, But the, I asked you about Dick Cheney. Is this about protecting his legacy? I think Dick Cheney, absolutely, it's about protecting his legacy. The record is that America has not been attacked since 9-11. I think the Bush administration, including Dick Cheney, deserves some credit for that. Alex, do you think it's because people were waterboarded, that there were secret CIA prisons? Do you think that's why America stayed safe in the time since 9-11? Well, actually, we don't really know because the Bush, the, excuse me, the Obama administration has refused to release the results of the enhanced interrogation techniques. They've announced what those techniques were, but they won't. They, they haven't announced the results, so we have no way of judging their effectiveness. No, but a bigger issue here, Contessa, is that the Obama administration has not made the firm decisions they need to make in order to, to explain how are they going to close down Guantanamo Bay. You just had Governor Polenian from Minnesota, who's making some really tough decisions in his state, showing real leadership. Yeah. That's the sort of thing that Obama needs to do in the White House now if he really wants to close down Guantanamo Bay, offer a plan like congressional Democrats are demanding. You know, I, I, Mark, uh, let me bring you in on this. When we heard President Obama today, he seemed pretty clear what he plans to do about Guantanamo Bay. He said, look, we have federal supermax prisons. No one has ever escaped from them. And we have far worse than the uh, detainees who've never been convicted of a crime. How would we know if they're guilty or not? Because they haven't been put through a legal process. He said, put them through the federal court system. Them, put them in federal prison, they'll never escape. Yeah, and that's what the Constitution kind of guarantees most people, and I think we are frame, framing this whole talk wrong. Dick Cheney talked about torture today. Torture is not what America does. And we could talk about looking forward, looking backward all day. What we're really talking about, though, is Dick Cheney defended the shredding of the Constitution, the values that we hold dear, which is exactly, exactly what President Obama focused on. Now, Guantanamo is not the issue. The issue is whether we for not over seven years. No, that is not the issue as well. The issue is we made America less safe by telling the world we will torture, by telling the world we will not stand up for the very values that our documents called the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are all about. That that's the issue. That now, Dick Cheney, will, Dick Cheney will try and make us think it's all about Guantanamo and about false moralizing, phony moralizing. How dare he? This is about the very values that we hold dear. And President Obama did show leadership, to use Alex's point, did show leadership to say we can't do that anymore. The, That's what he's talking about. The interesting thing is uh, President Obama made people angry on both sides of the dichotomy today. Um, it, certainly civil libertarians are not happy with his decision to, um, to keep military, military tribunals, for instance, or to say that he's going to keep some information secret. But that being said, Dick Cheney went back to that Bush administration tactic, drawing very clear lines in the sand. You're either with us or you're against us. It's either good or it's evil. Here's Liz Cheney in an exclusive interview on MSNBC this afternoon reacting to her dad's speech and to the president's speech as well. Let me play it. At the end of the day, saying you made a decision because it was a compromise between liberals and conservatives is not the same as saying you made the best decision to keep this nation safe. Do you think, Alex, there's a lack of nuance and that the Republicans, if they really want to look forward and not look back, that, that some nuance might be due here? Some nuance? Uh, look, you know... I'd say Barack Obama is the one who's lacking any nuance here. He goes out and gives these big speeches, 6,000 word speech today, but no plan for how to actually close down Guantanamo Bay. That's the issue here. That's why he gave that speech today, because congressional Democrats rejected his plans to close down Guantanamo, did not give him funding to close down Guantanamo because he doesn't well, have a plan. The Democrats said that they would re withhold that money until they heard the details of it. I thought the Exactly, which, I which thought we thought he was going to do today. Look, I thought the president was pretty clear about what he plans to do. Federal court system, federal prisons. Right. Mark? He hasn't said where they're going to go. He hasn't Mark, said. Well, he did. 15 he, seconds he, here. Mark, jump in. He, he, he did say where they're going to go. They're going to go to Supermax, and we're going to be safe because Supermax is called Supermax for a very good reason. Remember, we are we are focusing on minutia here, and that is the wrong thing to focus on. The macro statement is yeah. we used to torture, and now we're going to stop. Mark, and Alex, Colorado guys, does thank not you very much. I'm going to end it there.